What's up guys? It's your boy Jimbo Shack. Today I wanted to do a quick video on this refurbished Poland PR 4218 42 cc 18 inch bar. I put on this spike right here because I mainly bought this chainsaw to uh, replace my old P4018 made back in 2006. Um, I bought it for like $87 off of eBay, Husqvarna sales, that's the seller. I also bought a PL3314 that was also refurbished for $67, which I'll be trying to show that saw uh, sometime soon when I get the time. But uh, there's nothing wrong with the 4018. I'll be showing that saw, by the way. It's just getting old, and it's a bit outdated. Uh, it's just figured I'd like to get something new and maybe try something out. And a friend of mine with these chainsaws, actually, he actually has one ex just like this. Uh, although he uses it for a haunted house, uh, he's pretty much beat the crap out of it and the damn thing still runs. Just, you know, and I'm not even one to like these chainsaws very much. I do think that they are kind of sloppy with the carburetor. Um... As somebody on YouTube has already pointed out, the crank seals definitely are not the best, but I think the reason that I think the reason that the seals go bad so quickly and cause air leaks is because these carburetors are adjusted way too lean from the factory. Uh, I did have to do some adjusting on this one, but it did start and run uh, just really, really rough. I did have to use the spline end tool, which I highly recommend you get. They've improved the fuel tanks. Everyone was complaining about the caps, like for instance, uh, on this one right here, the old caps, people had trouble getting these off the saws, and uh, was driving people up the wall. Sorry for the mess, by the way, folks, uh, but yeah, I, I'd say so far it's been pretty good. Um, chain tensioner is right here, just loosen these two nuts, and it's right there. It used to be right there and uh what else i'd say that's about it because mostly poland pros have always had a uh, anti-vibe um at least most of them have anyway i think the really cool thing about this is you get an area thing a place underneath to put a scrunch now granted this is a refurb so it didn't come with one the pl3314 came with the tool and Looky Lou, it fits because you unfortunately can't put any old scrunch in this, which is a huge downside. Uh, they've improved the air filter, which I can, I'm not going to show on camera. I'll do a separate video on that when I again when I get the time. But uh, the only real thing I can say I don't like on this, other than the crank seals and carburetor, is the assisted pulling. I'm not a fan of those of things like that. Mostly, it's just personal preference. Um, it's not exactly an easy start. I'd say it's in between. Uh, but it's it's more of an assisted start, uh, which I guess it's okay, but makes the saw feel like it has low compression and uh, drives someone with me that has OCD nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up for you. It is a cold start. Hasn't been started in a couple days. See? pretty good uh, all I really had to do was mess with the L screw and of course the idle a little bit and it does start back <laughs> seems like it'll be a suitable enough replacement for the 4018 I'll keep you all up to date on how it's doing so far not bad for $87 and that's the price after tax